may notice here that my lips do not match the words. That's because this was supposed to be the intro to this video, and unfortunately it did not record sound. So we'll get on to a new intro in a second. I just thought I'd show you. Leaving Atherston this morning, where it was a little bit foggy, misty, and very cold. Well, it's absolutely gorgeous here at the moment. The sun's come out. I left in fog this morning. Cold. Not great. I've just had a bite to eat. Sawn up a little bit of firewood. And it's now blazing sunshine. I've got a cardigan on. And I'm quite warm. Well, to bring this to you, I had to have a cup of tea. Not quite sure how to put it. Well, what's basically happened over the last few months with the horrendous cost of living increase, my biggest cost of living increase is diesel, which at one point in time was almost triple the price to what it was three years ago has basically bankrupted me. All the great help, all you great people out there, help me with PayPal, um, Patreon, channel membership, all those things have kept me going this far basically for the last three or four months since the prices got out of hand. So anyway, what's happening? I don't want to finish the channel. I want to keep the channel going. I enjoy doing it. And I've got a bee buzzing me. Well, that's the first bee I've seen this year. The sun's brought the bees out. So it's going to be a little bit of change in direction for the time being. I've gone and got a job. Well, I'm, what's today, Tuesday? I'm on my way to get the confirmation of that job on Thursday. I've basically been told it's mine if I want it. And it's working at a marina. Quite a simple little job, just helping cleaning boats, turning them around, hire boats. Really simple sort of job to do, but it'll suit me. And it's four days a week, but it's only four hours a day. So it's just 16 hours a week. But 16 hours a week pay to me at the moment is like a million pounds to me. It would change things around for me big time, just a few pounds in my pocket. So, what am I intending to do? Hmm. Well, unfortunately, because I shall be working, it's not going to be forever, by the way, it's going to be for a few months. Longest possible would be to the end of the summer but I'm hoping not to go that long I'm hoping I can work things out and I can stop before then before I start cruising again so the cruising videos are really going to be out of the window for the time being I will put little snippets up when I'm on the boat and just moving it around because to comply still with being a continuous cruiser I'm still going to have to make sure I move the boat every couple of weeks so I shall be cruising up and down, basically between Atherston and Coventry Basin for the next foreseeable future. Well, it's, it's not the foreseeable future, it's for the next few months. And what I'm going to try and do is bring some points of interest, canal related of course, in and around the canal as I cruise around, or don't cruise around. So I'm going to do a lot of research into things that were local and try and bring some points of interest which are canal related. 
I sort of pointed at this a little bit in my last interview when I mentioned the tramways which came down to the canal. That was obviously a little bit of research I did to find that out. As unfortunately I've been told it was a canal junction there, but it doesn't appear that that ever was true. But anyway, things like that, and I'm that is within the scope of the area I'm in still. So I might go and try and find if I can find any evidence of those old tramways. And there was a lots around here at one time that came down to the canals. So I might try and bring some things like that. So it'd be a sort of walking off the cut type videos, but not so much into towns and villages because I've done the ones around here. But perhaps points of interest. I know that the Romans were in this area. Mancetta, which is just around the corner from where I am at the moment. Actually, this probably comes under Mansetta where I am at the moment. Was a Roman town, or Romans were there. The old quarry there, apparently, was first used by the Romans. So that would be, I've mentioned it before in a video, but I think it might make a video to actually walk up there and see if I can find a little bit more information about the old quarry and things like that. I'm hoping also, well, first of all I've got to chat of course to the people where I'm going to be working, I might be able to bring to you, show you what actually happens if you hire a boat. The procedure that goes through before you get on that boat, making sure it's all spick and span and up to scratch, cleaned and nice for you to come onto the boat and what happens after you leave the boat. So I'm hoping to perhaps bring a video or two or three or four on that. Uh, so I thought that would be a, still all canal related. So of course I completely understand all you pe great people out there that are patrons to my channel and supporters of the channel. If you do not wish to support the channel anymore, I completely understand that. But I will be back with cruising videos as soon as the pocket has enough money in it for me to do so. I'm not sure how long it's going to be. It looks like I'm going to start working on the 17th of March. St. Patrick's Day, I believe. It's a good day to start, isn't it? And it will continue from there onwards until... Well, it's a seasonal job I've taken on and it's open to, I believe, October. Whether I continue to October, that... I do not know yet, it just depends on how finances go about. If I do continue to October, you might find me in October taking my boat up north, uh, perhaps up, perhaps in the Langoflin, in winter on the Langoflin this year. Lots of people do it, and I sort of fancy doing it myself, so I might well do that. Sorry about that, fly in my eye. Well, while I'm actually moored here, I'm going to start off in this video so something that's happening, canal orientated around here, that's actually going to stop boats cruising here on Monday. So it's just under a week's time. Today's Tuesday, so it's basically a week's time. Next Monday, the canal's going to be closed, literally. 50 feet in front of my boat at the moment. So let's go and take a look why they're closing the canal. Before I do that, a sip of my tea. Ah, delicious. Yeah, I know a lot of you won't like it. Black, no sugar. That's the way I like my tea, and strong. This bee's annoying me. This is where I'm moored at the moment. I was hoping to moor actually up opposite that field there, but there was boats around the corner. It's a lovely outlook across that field. There's very little arm co to moor against, so uh, I came around the corner. Well, I'm calling this a point of interest. Whether it is to you or not, I don't know. It is to me, and it would be to other boaters. Starting on the 20th of February to the 27th of February, the canal is going to be closed here. 
and this is the reason why the canal is going to be closed here this is a footbridge right and on side bridge 36 here so let's go up and see what's going on way up here is on the non footbridge side which is rather odd so you come up the side of the canal and you're actually on the wrong side to get to the footbridge it's quite a busy little road here so we'll get across quick well this is the footbridge in question i'm not sure What's wrong with it? Obviously it looks a bit tatty. But whether it's actually falling apart or not, that I do not know. But the canal's being closed. Down here, they're going to be putting scaffolding up apparently. To work on this bridge it's quite odd because any damage to the bridge when you can actually see on the main humpback bridge here where bricks have been knocked out so i'll be going down to the marina tomorrow well i'll get there for the next day thursday it'll be tomorrow when you see this so i'm trying to get this video out for you on wednesday and come back up this way on Saturday or Sunday because I need to be clear of this bridge again by Saturday or Sunday right let's dice for death all clear that way all clear that way let's cross back across and go back down to the canal well, this is Manchester, of course. Uh, the sign here is a bit battered and a bit yucky. That's uh, it's got some old pictures on it. And it's the North Arden Heritage Trail, apparently. Walk and learn. What's that here about quarrying stone? Well, we'll find out more about that later. I'm on my way back now to the boat. So let me know what you think. Leave comments below. If you still wish to continue subscribing and watching my channel. As I say, cruising videos will return. And I will try and put the odd little cruise in where I'm just going up and down the canal. And I'll interact it with some other things off the canal at the same time. So you will see the canal in my videos like this one it's showing you the canal although it's not really so much about the canal it's more about me of course a big thank you does go out to everybody that does support the channel and i hope i can bring you content that you'll still be interested in I'll definitely be back to cruising. It's not going to disappear completely forever. But needs must. And the needs are I need to put some money in my pocket. Well, I'm going to end the video there. And all I'm going to say is thank you very much for watching. Trevor out.